Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech and Talk. Today we are diving into the crucial topic in the world of SQL constraint. And in this video, I am going to share essential points that can be vital from an interview perspective. I kindly request you to subscribe our channel and leave a comment if you find this concept understandable. Your feedback helps us to create more excited content for you. We will start this video with a very easy example. At your home, there might be some rules, those which you are following regularly, right? So SQL constraint are like those important rules you set at your home. So they make sure things are in order. So in the world of database, they do the same thing. They keep our data in check. There are several types of constraint in SQL. We are going to explore the most common ones, starting with primary key. The primary key constraint is like a unique identifier for each row in table. So when we are saying unique, it means it cannot be duplicated and it cannot be null. So remember this thing. So this is very important from the interview perspective. So remember, it's a combination of not null and unique key. So why we need a primary key? So it is representing the unique record from the table. Interviewer may ask you one question here on primary key. He will ask you how many maximum primary key available in one SQL table. So remember always each table can have only one primary. Key. So guys, let's move on to our second important SQL constraint unique key. So why we are using unique key? Because it ensures that data cannot be duplicated in one table. Also, it ensures that data can be unique. In interviews, you might encounter question related. Let's break down some common question. So first question is how keys are an SQL table? And the answer here is a SQL table can have multiple unique keys. So there is no restriction. And this question is pretty much similar to primary key question. Actually, in case of primary key, we can have only one primary key in one table. But in case of unique key, we can have multiple unique key. So remember these things. The second question is, can a unique key hold a null values? And the answer here is yes, a unique key can hold a single null value. Here the single word is very important. Remember, and the third question is, can a unique key hold a multiple null values? Here the answer is no, a unique key cannot hold a multiple null values. It is designed to prevent the data duplication. And allowing multiple null values would violate the uniqueness constraint. So consider this logically. If a unique key allowed multiple null values, then it's a violation of unique constraint as it cannot hold duplicate record and unique record, right? So please share your thoughts in the comment below if you are agree or disagree with this explanation. Let's move on to very important constraint of SQL, foreign key constraint. The foreign key constraint is all about to maintain the relationship between the table. It connects data in one table to another and it also ensures the data consistency across the database. In the syntax also, we can see it, it referring to another table. Let's see some question related to foreign key. So the first question here is how many foreign keys will be available in one table? And there is no such a strict limit to the number of foreign keys that can be used in one table. Second question is, can a table have a multiple foreign keys? And the answer here is, yes, a table can have a multiple foreign keys. Third question is, can a foreign key contain a duplicate values? Yes, foreign keys can contain a duplicate values. Fourth question is, can you create a foreign key relationship between the tables in different database? And the answer here is yes. The possibility of creating a foreign key relationship between the tables in different database depends on your database management system. But yes, we can create a foreign key relationship between different database. 
so keep these things in mind what is check constraint so with the check constraint you can set a condition that must be met before the data can be updated or added so let me clear you if you are going to store some record consider gender we have a gender male and female so before inserting or updating the final data in database it will check the gender is present or not in the check constraint and let's say the user is entering some abc or any other random value then it will not store those records the default constraint allows you to set the default value for a column it's like having a backup plan of your data let's say you are having a one column in your table and uh, you have set uh, some default value and uh, if user is not entering some value from the ui then then it will take that default value in the database automatically the not null constraint ensure that column can't have null values this adds an extra layer of reliability to your data so this is consider one kind of validation of data before the data stored in database here i will explain you how to create a constraint and for you i have taken an example which will have all constraint in single example so that you can understand constraint completely after watching this video let's see we are creating a table called employee and the employee id is set as a primary key so that it will ensure each employee has a unique identifier name is a non nullable column which means every employee must have a name email is a unique so multiple employees cannot have the same email address salary is a decimal column with a check constraint to ensures it's non negative along with check constraint i have used the default constraint for salary column so that if nothing is entered then it will always be as a zero here you can also see that we can use the two constraint on a single column department id is used as a foreign key to link the employees to their respective department for that i have created the another department table before we dive into some of the most crucial interview questions i want to kindly request everyone to like subscribe and share our channel for more fascinating content and please drop a comment to let us know if you agree with the explanation now let's tackle the first question so what sets the primary key and unique key apart primary key serves as a unique identifier for records and it strictly prohibits null values on the other hand a unique key also ensure a uniqueness but it allows a single null value remember this distinction in sql and giving the wrong answer might not leave a good impression on your interviewer the second question is rather fundamental it's all about the types of constraint available in sql in this video we have covered this constraint extensively let let just list them out primary key foreign key unique key check constraint default constraint and not null constraint now moving on to the third question what is the difference between a primary key and foreign key think of it primary key guarantees the uniqueness within the table ensuring each record stands out and on the flip side foreign key are all about maintaining the relationship between the table so remember primary key is like the star within its own table while the foreign key is the connection between table fourth question is little bit tricky can you have multiple constraint on a single column in sql and the answer here is yes you can apply multiple constraint to single column in sql to enforce the different rules simultaneously in conclusion understanding the sql constraint is fundamental in the world of database management this concept not only prepare you for the interviews but also ensure the accuracy integrity and reliability of your data if you have found this video informative please support us by liking subscribing and sharing our channel and don't forget to leave your comments and question below we will back soon with more engaging and insightful 
content until then keep learning and keep querying those database effectively thank you for watching